here we are again it's gonna be one of those days where we just talk about the state of paladins and why i think paladins is slowly dying you could argue paladins is already dead because i mean the stats don't really lie although the stats is only on steam it still shows that less people are playing this game it was actually doing very good a few months ago and then i don't know what happened it just slowly declining in this video i will be talking about why paladins is just slowly dying let's start off with the most obvious obvious one ever. There hasn't been a new champion in a very long time. Back in the days, they make a lot of champions. And that's one of the reasons why people keep going back in the game to try the new character. That's also one of the reasons why new players are coming to Paladins. But so far, there hasn't been a new champion. All we know so far is that the new champion is a support. And I'm not sure about this, but I heard Moji is turning into a support. But there hasn't been a single champion for a very long long time and of course you could argue wall curbs they can't keep making new characters because obviously they're gonna run out of ideas very soon they cannot keep reusing abilities and stuff which of course i get basically all i'm stating here is that that's one of the reasons why pod is not getting new player base or veterans coming back because there's nothing really new they're making stuff that is not really important like for example they're making changes like this new item shop in my opinion as a veteran i do love the new item shops i think is really interesting but for new players that is not really a good reason to play the game because there's a new item shop this new item shop system is only good for veterans who is still playing the game another problem that we're having is the matchmaking we can all agree that the matchmaking in this game is just getting worse slowly but surely obviously the reason for that is less players that's i mean that's the problem currently the lower player base you have the matchmaking will be a lot more worse which is obviously obviously understandable but it's just not fair i get into so many games where sometimes it's either the other team is just so good or sometimes they're just so bad that there's like there's no in between don't even get me started with the ranked like if you're higher ranked you have to wait so long just to find the game this is also one of the reasons why i don't really play ranked because there's just no reason for you to play ranked now let's talk about the other problem that i'm having a lot the afkers i'm sure you guys are expecting this because there's a lot of afkers in the game what is, what is this um i guess this is why we're losing so easily i feel like you get an afk for like every three games or something most of the time it's paladin's fault because their servers is just blech like it's actually just blech in very rare occasions it's the player's fault because i don't know they actually dc but most of the time they're dcing because of paladins i mean i'm getting dc'd myself Let's go. My, my game. Hello? My game! Hello! And I just want to say, this AFK problem has been around for a very long time. I really don't understand why they haven't done anything. And the report system in this game is not even good. You can literally report someone and I feel like nothing will happen. But that is besides the point. And of course, let's talk about bugs. It's not gonna be Paladins if there's no bugs. Oh wow, I see this. Oh wow. And then now I'm just black screen. <laughs> I'm literally just stuck in black screen now. Yep, you, you heard that as well? I don't know if it's just me, but recently I've been getting a lot of crashes bugs. I don't know if it's also just me, but sometimes you hit something, but they're not hitting. Like, um, like look at this. Like, am I missing? Like, how am I missing this one? I'm pretty sure that is not even a good example. I was playing off stream. I'm not recording or anything, but I literally sniped someone in the head and it didn't do any damage. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long one. Removing good changes or just good gameplays. What do I mean by this? basically they're like removing something that is already really good or really perfect and then they change it to something else one of the examples is a battle pass if you guys remember the old battle pass is really really good you actually get a lot more rewards it's actually worth it and then it slowly turned into an event pass which is i don't mind event passes you know i prefer battle passes it was still good but you know it's a little worse and then they did this you don't even see the skin in the event pass you get this chest is it just me but i absolutely 
absolutely hate this shit i haven't bought any event passes in months speaking of removing something let's talk about the play of the game and i'm pretty sure they removed this because i'm pretty sure there's like bugs that they cannot fix so they just completely remove it correct me if i'm wrong which i don't want to be mean but um that's kind of kind of dumb i'll be honest like, why remove such a good feature when you can like can you not try to fix it i know it's easier said than done but i feel like removing something that is this good it's like kind of bad think about it like this let's just make an example like for example mave over here mave is one of the most popular characters out there because of how fun she is and stuff and then they just decided to remove her from the game because they couldn't fix a bug or she's just too broken so they don't want to bother changing anything that's how i feel about this like why remove something so good when you could have just tried to fix something about it there's also kill cams which i don't really care as much about kill cams but it's still really good because you can see who's like hacking or cheating or you can also see how you died but again they remove it because of bugs well okay let's talk about something else which is no advertisement i'm pretty sure most people will agree with me on this one but they're just not doing anything to advertise the game there isn't like ads you know to like show off the game so people will just not know that this game exists there's games out there even though they're so popular already volant is already so popular but they still make advertisement to keep the game alive because it will literally just bring new people to the game they just want to try it out it's like oh this game looks fun i actually just really don't understand why they're not doing this now this might not be the worst thing in the world but i really think aim assist on controller is like really bad in my opinion i think they kind of fixed it already correct me if i'm wrong if they did fix it already then just just forget that i said this you know just forget about it but if you're playing on pc and then you have a controller apparently the aim assist is just so broken literally characters who don't need nerves are getting nerfs for example sky sky is not really like the best character in the world or anything but they're literally nerfing sky because of controller players they did buff her recently but before that they were just nerfing her now obviously these are all really bad and you might be wondering curbs what do you think they should do then to like improve the game and stuff well they could either fix all of the stuff that i just said or they actually make paladins too now for those people who don't know the ceo of high Red said this basically saying if there is a paladins 2 what should they add in that game and i did make a video for it if you guys want to watch it i would highly recommend watching this video because it's gonna be more detailed but i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit what i said in that video basically in that video i said they should change a new engine correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure paladins is still in engine 3 which is kind of bad this is why there's so many bugs as well in paladins because they're still using this engine they should really swap to a different one so there's gonna be less bugs in paladins and the game itself is just gonna be more fluid it will just absolutely improve the game if you have a better engine i also said in that video that they should prioritize bugs for example because i mean we can all agree paladins is very buggy and they should really fix something about it i hate to compare paladins and overwatch again but overwatch bugs you rarely see them of course it's kind of not fair because uh, you know blizzard and high res um, it, it's a big it's a big difference but uh, and i've been playing overwatch for a very long time and i don't even remember remember a single time getting a bug in that video i also talked about bringing back pro scene because currently in this game there isn't really a pro scene and it's not really worth it to grind ranks like i said there's no reason for you to improve on this game because it's not really that worth it the rank is not worth it there's no pro scene so there's really no reason for you to be good at this game yes you can still play ranked and get to a high ranked i guess but that's basically it if you bring back pro scene people from around the world will just watch the pro scene more people will want to play because they could actually be good at this game and make money out of it it's gonna be so good for the game they really need to bring that back another thing i said in that video is changing the shop we can all agree that the shop in paladins is very outdated like no one really buys in this shop if they made a shop kind of like fortnite it's just gonna dramatically change the shop and it's gonna be so much better they really need to stop making this loot crate because no one cares about this loot crate like for example there's skins that you want but they're just stuck in the chest like for me for example i really like this skin but i cannot get it because i need to buy a fucking chest that i don't really care about i just want this skin so i really don't get why they're still doing this loot crate when it's so outdated even overwatch stopped doing this shit they should really do this not just for paladins too like even in paladins one now lastly i want to talk about Perez needs to give more to evil mojo Basically, what I mean about this is they should provide more guidance.
weapons and harris needs to give more funds more money to evil mojo so they can actually make more good content that is one of the main problems currently because because we can all agree that the evil mojo's employees we can tell they actually love this game they put their passion for this game they actually care for this game but they're just not getting enough resources because of harris they should really start helping evil mojo out a lot more because they're just way too focused on smite 2 why are they making smite 2 when smite 1 is already doing really good like what the fuck is that if they can do it for smite 2 i'm sure they can do it for paladins 2 as well because this game has a lot of potential this is definitely one of the best games i've played but the reason why it's not doing very good is because they're just handling it very poorly if a different company both paladins or a different company is working on paladins they would be doing it so much better it's literally just a company diff it's actually company diff harris really need to step up this game because this game has so much potential and i feel like they're just absolutely wasting it so yes that's me ranting off paladins again did i forget anything let me know down in the comments below you guys can let me know what they should improve on the game why it's also dying or should they even do paladins too you guys can let me know down in the comments below well then that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time see ya